In this video, I wanted to share good news with you, and that is the new notifications many German universities are putting up on their websites, which explain their plans of winter semester 2021, 2022, and also share their plans of actually starting physical classes again. For this, I want to first read this excerpt from the University of Bielefeld. Again, many universities have similar kind of things posted on their website and I want to start with that. So here they write, Dear students, on Tuesday the federal state of Northern Westphalia released a new coronavirus protection ordinance which will be in force starting tomorrow Friday August 19th through the 17th of September. So right now it was supposed to be from 19th August to 17th September but it looks like that they're continuing it further because we are already in October and the plans that they have talked about are still in place. So the main thing here is that all of the plans that they were having is no longer going to be based on the incidence levels, that is how many number of people are infected per hundred or per thousand people, but it is going to be based simply on the 3G rule. What is the 3G rule? This is geimpft, genesen, getested, which means in English vaccinated, tested or recovered. So these three types of people will be allowed actually into different kind of university events and so on. You can read about this further. As of today, though, one thing is certain, for all university events, especially for exams and courses that will take place as of tomorrow, the 3G rule applies, vaccinated, recovered or tested. Without proof of vaccination, recovery or a negative test, you will not be allowed to participate in the exam or course. So this pretty much means like anybody who does not want to get vaccinated um, or like did not have COVID so far and do not want to get vaccinated either, like for them, this is going to be a problem because universities are not going to allow you into the courses itself. I find it not so nice because like many people have their own choices and COVID is not Ebola that you have 50% mortality rate that you will almost certainly die. And I really believe that you should have the choice because it is your own body and you should decide like what you can do. But again, it is not really about my personal opinion right now. It is about how the entire world governments are taking this forward. So for many students, this means like they have to kind of give up their freedom of like, you know, choosing what they would have wanted to do. During this check, your identity may also be verified. Therefore, please also bring proof of identity, ID card, student ID card or passport. So very important things that you should keep in mind when you're thinking about coming to Germany and starting your classes that these kind of rules will be applicable. I know it from my brother. In Canada, similar kind of regulations are coming in place. Also in the workplace, if you're not vaccinated, it is going to be an issue. So afterwards, they're also writing that if you're fully vaccinated, we ask you that you use the digital vaccination certificate. If you were vaccinated abroad, please note that the vaccinations not authorized for use in the European Union are not recognized. Such individuals are considered unvaccinated and would need to bring a negative test result. This includes, for example, the Sputnik V, Russian Federation and CoronaVac, China. And I also know from India, I think it's a co-vaccine, which is still not 100% recognized in the European Union, which is also going to make it complicated for the people who have co-vaccine and do not have the standard like Johnson Johnson or AstraZeneca, you know, or Moderna and things like that. So that's very um, interesting. So just something that you should keep in mind that yes, if you have the standard vaccines which are essentially recognized in the European Union, it is not going to be a problem for you. You can go and attend classes, you can go and write exams, you can go and be part of conferences and so on. But for other people, it is not going to be the case. This means if you do not get vaccinated, you cannot even attend a university. So this is pretty much the state of affairs right now. I hope this helped you and you can decide further what you want to do and how you want to plan your journey for Germany and how do you want to start your studies and so on. So keep this in mind. And if you have any kind of questions whatsoever, you can write to me in the comment section below. Also, if you already want to start preparing yourself for the job search in Germany, you want to get some basic idea and so on, you can take a look at the free PDFs in the description. Or if you already want to join the course, Complete Course for Finding Jobs in Germany, the link for that you will also find in the description. There we have two different strategies. One could be the do-it-yourself and the second is done with you thing, which is the intensive coaching plan. So there we have weekly coaching sessions where we are going to take care of different aspects of your job search so that once your second semester hits or third semester hits, or even when you're looking for a part-time job, all of these strategies that you will learn in the course are going to be very helpful for you and you will find a job much faster and much easier. Thank you so much for watching this video. Share it with a friend and I will see you in the next video. Bye.